What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 babies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, come on. Come on, baby. If you can ring the little bell and buy my full tub, I super duper appreciate it. Just saying, saying, saying. Um, this is collective reading for the month of July. I got a message in. I was doing bi-weekly readings, but um, I was sitting here meditating for a few minutes, and um, I heard collective, and then I got a message. So. I'm doing the collective reading. Um, the message is, through many series of chain of events, someone is going to end up getting their rights taken away. Um, that's what I heard. So you take it out resonates. So that's all I heard. You cannot have those. Those are my cherries. I heard, uh, through many series of chain of events, um, someone is going to end up getting their rights taken away. Their rights. So, um, their rights. So, Children, children is what I just heard, children, children. So rights are taken away regarding children in some type of way. Um, that's what I'm assuming because I just heard children. So you take it out resonates. Spirit messages you have this like um, But it sounds like a series of chain of events is going to occur to get these rights taken away in some type of way. Because um, I heard through a series of chain of events someone's rights are going to be taken away now when i initially heard that message i you know that could mean jail it could mean jail it could mean prison um so but i heard children so but if you're getting your rights taken away you're getting them taken away for a really 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 good reason probably child abuse or it's the most common reasons to get um, ch uh, rights taken away for children is child abuse or not paying child support um or being in to contempt of court in some type of way. So um, you take it how it resonates. Um, but it's regarding children in some type, type of way. But if this person gets their rights taken away. They'll probably be jailed in possible prison too. Um, because they're um, either child abusing. Um, not paying child support. Or um, um, contempt of court. Which could be contempt of can tip to court could be it that's child abuse and not um uh not paying um child support as well so um you plug it in how it resonates um uh, in your own life if it does those are not that's not yours ten of cups upright ace of cups upright thank you thank you And someone's papers are going to be modified to really help them in the future in huge positive ways. Okay, I heard someone's papers are going to be modified in the future to really help them in huge positive ways. Um, somebody's papers, so I'm assuming legal papers in some type of way. Um, that's what I'm assuming. Some kind of, it sounds like official documentation papers um are going to be modified to help them um d down the line in the future in some type of way so you might be going to the lawyer um and getting your papers modified that's what i'm thinking for some of you guys that you um are going to go you have legal paperwork of some type of way whether it's regarding children because we're pulling in children very strong children or um divorce decree whether it has involves children or not or a separation decree or um something something to help you benefit you down the line um in some type of way it could involve the um person getting their rights taken away maybe you're getting full custody um uh, well it doesn't sound like it's happened yet that as far as somebody's rights being taken away it sounds like something's going to happen to get these person or people's rights taken away um and then it's gonna happen but um i'm i guess i should say when it happens um uh it's gonna be modified in some type of way it's gonna be modified to help you so that's that's beautiful 
um, that's beautiful. Um, you could be connected to that message with um, somebody getting their rights taken away and maybe you'll be primary um, parent or guardian um, because somebody else is acting a damn fool, possibly. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling somebody else is acting a, a damn fool um, regarding children. They're being very, very irresponsible and um, being very irresponsible and not acting properly. And their irresponsible actions um, is going to call, create a series of chain events and it's going to benefit you. That's what I'm feeling. But you take it out, resonates. Okay, Ten of Cups upright, Ace of Cups upright. Serious chaos and conflict is about to occur. In one particular situation involving children. Serious. So much so, the law and child protective services is about to get involved. It's going to create many, 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 many series of chain events. And lots of communication and energy shifts will occur. Okay, so you take out resonates. That's strong. We are pulling in somebody. Somebody's situation is about to turn around 360. But um, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, it sounds like it's going to benefit you in the long run is what it sounds like um, because somebody else is acting a damn fool. Somebody else is acting a damn fool with kids. Or they're about to. They're either about to. Because I heard a series of chain events are about to occur. So I don't think it's happened yet. Um, but somebody's acting a damn, damn fool with kids. And that's just the truth, real girl. Um, but I heard, um, basically, um, it's going to create, um, that cops, I heard police and child protective services that whoever is acting a damn fool is basically acting a fool real, real bad. It's going to create a series of chain of events. And so much so police and child protective services is going to get involved in this situation. But once they get involved in the situation, it's going to create energy to shift. It's going to create it to shift. Um, positively for you is how I'm feeling. Um, if this resonates with you, um, I mean, so much so child protective services and police are going to get involved. I mean, that's serious. That's serious. So, um, you take it out resonates, but it sounds like it's going to be wonderful for you in the long run. New love is coming in. For one particular individual, they have children. They have really, 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 really worked very hard on themselves and really works hard for their children. They really deserve it. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, I think one of you guys is about to get a blessing in disguise. Um, and I think it involves your children or some children you um, care for in some type of way, like guardianship or something. Um, I think you're about to get a blessing in disguise. I mean, now I hate whatever this is, oh, chaos and craziness going on over here. I hate that this is about to occur. But sometimes crazy things have to happen in the universe to shift it to balance it out, if that, make, if that makes sense. And that sounds like what's about to occur, at least for one of you guys. Um, and it involves somebody being very irresponsible and dangerous, putting children in dangerous situations. I'll tell you that. Hold on one second. I'm going to go turn the crystal on. Okay, so yeah, so I heard basically um, you're going to have lots of happiness that somebody has children, okay? Somebody has kids. Um, you know, you plug in your life outfits. Um, I feel you're a single person. I feel you're a single person and you have children. Ki well, kid or children. You plug it in how it, uh, it fits. But however that fits, um, you, I heard you've been doing lots and lots of work on yourself. So lots of self-care, self-reflection, sh shadow side work, really, really, really 
working on yourself. So identifying your shadow side, feeling shadow side, really um, doing positive things in your life to really make it better. I heard for you and your kids. So you're working on yourself in a huge positive way. And I strongly feel you're single. I do. Um, I don't feel third party energy in here. I didn't hear any craziness as far as third parties or any anything like that. So I, I think you're completely single. Um, but however that resonates, um, I heard you've been doing so much work like to better you and your kid's life, basically. Kid or kids. Um, and that um, new love is basically coming in for you. New love is basically coming in for you. And um, it's going to... Um, make a very positive um family situation in some type of way um so whoever the new love is that's coming in for you um i'm i'm presuming they're on the same frequency and vibration as you um whoever this is you're vibing very high you're vibing very freaking high um and you've done the work you've done the work or you're doing it now um you plug it in well i think you've done it and you're still doing it this is exactly what i think i think you've done it and you're still doing it um and i heard you deserve it you deserve this new um new new love um basically um this ace of cups upright is new creative or emotional venture in this case it is a new person coming in but they could either have kids or accept i mean because they, they will obviously have to accept the fact you have kids as this resonates with you you have kids so this new love coming in they either have children as well and vibing on the same frequency as you or they're just vibing very high on the same frequency as you and they accept the fact you have kids you take it how it resonates but it's going to create a very happy family situation regardless of that situation that's beautiful because you have ten of freaking cups upright i mean ten of cups upright that's the like white picket fence and happy house, happy spouse. I mean, that's the happy is the happy of the happy in the family um, unit. Just saying. Um, that's beautiful energy. It really is. It, I mean, th this is like happy in your pants energy all day long as far as new love. But if this resonates with you, like I said, you at least have one child uh, or two or more. You have at least one. I'll tell you that. But they either accept the fact you have kids or um, they have children of their own. So it could be like a blended family. You take it out resonates. That That's beautiful. It, it, it It's beautiful. It really, really is. I just heard overall energy. Overall energy. So this is the overall energy of the reading. Kipper. Kipper. And I feel guided to get fortune cookie as well, for some reason. Uh, they're not called fortune cookie. I just call them fortune cookie. But I do feel guided to get those. Okay. Spirit messages you have for the collective. This really, um, this is beautiful. It's going to create very positive energy shifts. I mean, I'm serious. Holy crap. Okay. We got wealthy man, upright, gift, upright. This is what we got. So overall energy, that's our overall energy. I'll leave it out. And then we, um, number 13 or 17 might be very significant for someone. 13 or 17. Someone is really about to help turn a very toxic situation around. They realized a parent is extremely, extremely, extremely toxic to children. Okay. I heard a someone's about to really help turn a situation around. They realize a parent is extremely, extremely, extremely toxic to children. That's what I heard. So um, you take it how it resonates. Um, so I think it's this chaos and craziness that's about to occur over here. Now, I think it might be possibly it might be sex parties. Maybe these adults are trying to get these children to do sex parties um, and maybe filling them for money, possibly, or trying to get them pop, hopping them up with drugs and alcohol um, and trying to get them to do crazy stuff and then filming them, filming them, possibly. 
Um, but they're trying to manip they're either are manipulating these children or heavily trying to manip manipulate these children with like illegal substances of some type. That's what I'm feeling over here because I heard quite chaos and craziness and it's not healthy. It's some kind of toxic situation regarding children. So I automatically think sex parties, automatically think drugs or alcohol or all those things. But it, they're manipulating. They're trying really, really hard to manipulate these kids. Um over here but it's gonna create the chaos and craziness but then it sounds like people are gonna get involved and then it's gonna energy shift and be positive for you because you are doing you're the overall energy in here you're the ten of cups upright the ace of cups upright you are single as a pringle you are um um working on yourself you're working on yourself you're working on your life you're working on your future um i'm sure you're not thinking about you know you're not on the dating apps whoever this is resonating with i truly don't think you are i don't think you're on the dating apps i don't think you're trying to find mr or mrs right now i think you are focusing on your children i think you are focusing on ten because you are obviously focusing on your children we're ten of cups and up in here um just saying so you you think about your kids first you put your kids first which is the way it should be which is the way it freaking should be um you if you wasn't focusing on your children you wouldn't be ten of cups in. and i'm i mean i'm being for real about that so um that's beautiful but i heard someone really sees um that um a situation is very toxic in a family situation regarding a parent and children of some type of nature and basically they're gonna step in and help help the situation in some type of way um now how are they gonna help it how are they gonna help it but but i think that's gonna be the catalyst for the um helping balance it out is my feelings on that but you take it out resonates so then i heard get kipper and i got wealthy men upright and get upright like I said, number 13 or 17 might be very significant for someone. 13 or 17. For some, it's going to be an invaluable gift of information to help you gain full custody of kids for some, kid for some. Some, it will be a gift in the 3D. And for some, it will be both. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. Wow. Um, this is beautiful and strong. So for some of you guys, um, if you resonate with the overall energy up here, with the, ten, the single is the Pringle energy, uh, I think you're very worried about your children. I think your children are off at their other parent's house right now. That's exactly what I think. I think your children are off at the other parent's house right now. And um, there might be some fishy stuff going on. Um, and I understand that because I've had some fishy stuff going on with mine as well recently. Um, I just did the daily tea shortly before this, and I kind of I went into it on the daily tea today on July on uh, July ninth. So um, you can, if you want to listen to my experiences, you're welcome to go back and listen to it if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I put them out there to kind of help people because I know a lot of people have problems like that and but the problem the, cra the crazy thing is me and my ex-husband never had problems like this we never 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 had problems like this ever for years for years we didn't um it we didn't he never did um but then all of a sudden about two years ago it just went off the chain um and this is where we're at so but you know I can't um control um nor would I ever want to control him or what he does i just want him to be good to my kids and i don't feel he is right now i truly don't but um but that's just me but anyways the the more detail of that is in the daily tea 
today if anybody um, for me my personal experience if you want to check it out if not you don't have to um, but I do feel at least uh, for one of you guys whoever this resonates with you are going through um, some really um, you are having similar situations I think your children are off with the other parent right now and you're having there's some fishy 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 ass behavior going on um, and I think some of you guys it involves drugs some alcohol some sex parties and some maybe two or more um, and I'm serious um, I hate to say that, but I am serious, um, and I think you're worried. It's either that or some kind of narcissistic abuse. Um, we've had we had Stockholm syndrome come in very, very, very strong in Aquariuses. So for some, it could be Stockholm syndrome as well. Um, you take it out, resonates. But any of those things, though, any of those things is abuse. Any any of those when it involves a minor. If, if somebody needs to hear that and I'm serious all any of those things are abuse Stockholm syndrome um, trauma bonding um, the drugs the alcohol the sex parties I mean all of those um, when it involves minors is abuse and I'm serious so but I think some of you guys are very very worried about that um, and it sounds like you're about to get your justice in some type of way Sorry, my neighbor was out there um, with the trash can. I was trying to make sure it was okay. Um, he helps me out from time to time. Um, so, so yeah. So, um, that's exactly what I think. Um, now, uh, there's a wealthy man involved in this in some type of way. I heard for some of you guys, it is invaluable information that's going to be given to this situation that's basically going to create the series of chain events and balance it out for you. Um, for some of you, I strongly feel it's a wealthy man that's going to give this invaluable information, um, and that will be the gift um, to you, to you, single person with children. Um, the wealthy man giving this um, the gift of invaluable information to the situation for some. For some of you guys, I heard it is um, uh, someone um, that's going to give you a gift in the 3D. So they're going to physically give you a gift in the 3D. Now, whether they mail it to you, whether they give it to you in person, um, whether it's the gift of information to you, I mean, you take it how it resonates. Um, I strongly feel it's an actual physical gift, but you take it how it resonates. These are cards we got. So in that situation, I think they're a wealthy masculine energy because uh, we're pulling in wealthy man energy very strong under this overall energy. So there's a wealthy uh, masculine energy involved in this, however this fits in your life. And they truly wanna help you out. I think they see that you really, 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 that you are really working, you're doing the damn thing. You are 10 of cups in all day long. You are doing, you're manifesting yourself and your family. You're doing what's best for you and your family. And a wealthy mas masculine energy truly, truly sees that. They truly see it. So some of them is the invaluable gift of information to this situation. Some it is a physical gift in the 3D to you. Now, whether it's to, you know, they're actually to your face and giving it to you or whether they mail it to you or whether they, um, um, or whether it's like information in your inbox. I mean, I don't know, but some kind of, I think it's a physical gift in that situation, but you plug it in how it resonates. And for some, it is both. So you take it how it resonates, but there is a wealthy masculine energy very heavily involved in this situation. Um, single person with children that's worried about their children. Now, I feel guided to get these. I am so hungry, you guys. I'm about to go in there and make me something. Um, I might start the cooking channel soon. Uh, you know, I got spirit messages. Stay here. I was going to do tra travel channel. I might start the cooking channel soon. I, I, I'm serious. I might. Because I'm like freaking A, man. Okay. Spirit messages you have the collective. Oh, I want to say real quick while I'm shuffling now. Sorry. Um, when I get the cooking channel created, I will definitely let you guys know if you're interested. Um, it will be, um, just to give you a little heads up, the cooking channel will be mostly, it will be low carbohydrate meals, just to let everybody know. Spirit messages you have to like this. 
Overall, it will be. Um, and the reason is, is because I'm trying to lose weight myself. And that's how I maintain my weight for a long time. Because I used to be like 250 pounds, for anybody who doesn't know. I did. Actually, it was more like teetering 260. 250, 260. I used to be a really big girl. And I lost about 100 pounds, but I did it by low carbohydrate meals. So I didn't do full blown keto. Some people full blown, full blown keto it. I did dirty keto, but um, I'm going to create recipes um, that is not so strict in carbs that you're going to be like dying. Um, it'd be like dirty keto esque. Um, just saying, uh, if anybody's interested, because I believe in you know, I want to be able to eat good. But I want to still maintain it and still lose weight if I want to. Um, so, just saying. I heard getting another one spirit messages you have with this. So, if anybody's interested in that, that's kind of the focus I'm going to be in in my cooking channel. So, if any of you guys are interested. Spirit messages you have with this. These children will be in a much better place mentally after this huge energy shift occurs. Someone really, really needs to hear this. This needs to happen. Okay. I heard someone real, um, these children will be in a much better mental space mentally um, once um, this huge energy shift occurs after somebody gets away from a toxic parent or guardian um they're going to be in a much much better mental space that somebody really really needs to hear this so um you plug in your life how it fits however it resonates so i felt got it to get these i got it's up to you an opportunity i heard get another one after the first one Someone has a really huge opportunity to turn things around 360 for themselves and for another and the whole general situation. Someone really needs to hear this. Okay. Heard someone has a really huge opportunity to turn, th to turn things around for themselves, for another and a whole general situation. Um, that someone really needs to hear this. So you take it out, resonate. So um, you take it out, resonate. So um, some, oh, hold on. Oh, Jesus. So somebody, oh, has a, is about to get a huge opportunity. I think um, for you, if this resonates with you, the single person that's 10 of, ten of cups in all day long, really focusing on your children, but you're worried about them being with the other parent, basically, um, you're about to get a huge opportunity in some type of way. A huge freaking opportunity. Um, and basically, it's going to be up to you, this huge opportunity. But it sounds like um, some uh, wealthy masculine energy is very, very, very heavily involved in this. Um, that's going to help you out. Um, gifting you maybe with info. Um, I, I don't think it's you they're gifting the information in the first scenario. I just want to be clear. I think it's this situation they're gifting information to. Um, just to let you know. I think it's um, the first scenario. I think they're gifting the yeah with um, information. So um, I think that might be where CPA, uh, Child Protective Services comes in, police come in, or both with this. I think they are, maybe they're going to report something, or they know somebody that can help this yikes situation. Um, and they know you're worried about it. Um, so I don't think that first scenario is the gift of information to you, is what I'm trying to say. The second one I do, I think it's a physical gift of, uh, to you. I do. Um, in some scenarios. Um, and then for some of you guys, it's both. Um, the information, gift information to this and a physical gift to you, if that makes sense. But I heard someone has a huge opportunity here um, they're, or they're going to have a huge opportunity. I think it might be um, 
in love. Obviously, it's in love. It's in love. But I think it's after all of this with your children gets solved and balanced out because somebody is about to lose custody. Somebody, I think it's the toxic parent, is about to lose custody through a series of chain of events, basically. Um, and it sounds like, I heard from Spirit it needed to happen um, in here. I heard it needed to happen. So it needed to happen because this is just going, like, like if we were talking about vibe spaces, it's like all the, with the other toxic parent, it's like this. And like, you're like this. And it's like this over here. But you're like this, you know, going with flow, chilling. But this is like this. So it creates huge imbalances in the freaking universe. And hell yeah, it does. I mean, I get it. Trust me. I deal with a toxic co-parent. Trust me. I get it. Um, But that's wonderful. So somebody, oh, well, I got him turn around. Um, Somebody has a huge, um, is going to have a huge opportunity, I think, in love. We got Ace of Cups in. Um, and it's basically the huge opportunity and love is going to be up to you. So um, you take it how it resonates. Once the situation is resolved with children, that is very, it weighs on this person's heart very much. However, this masculine energy knows this. Okay, I heard once the situation is resolved with the children, um, it weighs on this person's heart very much, but this masculine energy knows this. So um, if this is for you, you're very, 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 um, you're very worried about your kids. You're, and I get it. You're very worried about your kids. I heard it weighs on your heart very much. Um, and anybody that cares about their children, it does weigh on your heart very much. Uh, absolutely. I wish, honestly, if I had things my way, my kids would be with me all the time and we would be traveling right now. That's exactly what we'd be doing. Um, but, you know, uh, it's not that way um, for me. But, you know, um, it, it, but, you know, um, everybody's life situation is different. But if I had it my way, that's, that's how it would be um because i know we'd have tons of fun lots of experiences and they'd be safe and happy and healthy and um and we'd be doing the damn thing you know um but i heard it but however that resonates i heard it really really weighs on your heart so it weighs on your heart you worry about your kids a lot and anybody that cares truly cares about their children it it does especially when you know there's something fishy going on on the other parents spectrum um, it, it does weigh on your heart. Um, but I heard, um, that this masculine energy knows that it weighs on your heart. Um, so I think this will all be resolved first and then it will be, um, this down here at the bottom energy. That's exactly what I'm thinking because, um, I heard the situation with the children needs to be resolved first. Um, and the masculine energy knows that. So he's taking your feelings into consideration, whoever this is for. He's taking your feelings into consideration. And that's a positive step. I just want to tell anybody that's a very positive step. It's a very freaking positive step. It really is. Um, because um, masculine or feminine, um, for a partner to take your feelings into consideration, you don't want anybody that doesn't take your feelings into consideration. And that was a huge problem between me and my ex-husband. He never did. He always thought about himself, always about himself, always about himself, always about himself. He never took my feelings into consideration. I gave and gave and gave and gave and gave to that marriage, gave. And he he, he didn't care. He didn't care. And um, it wasn't until I finally was able to separate from him and started doing self-care on myself and started, you know, I went to school. I started losing weight. I really started self-care myself. That's when he started caring. Um, that's not the way it should be. You had me for 10 years. You had me for 10 years. You could have cared then, you know, that's the way I looked at it. Um, and it's the truth. It's the truth. You should love and appreciate 
the person uh, that's in your life emotionally while they're there, not when they're gone. If anybody needs to. All right, you guys. Well, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped for real, for real. Personal readings currently closed. Um, however, donations, super duper greatly appreciate it. If anybody contacts you asking for a personal reading and they say they're me, it's not me. I will never contact you um, trying to give you a personal reading. That's not my business goal in this. It's not um, on the business spectrum. It's truly really not. It's not. I'm not going to contact you for a personal reading. So if somebody tries to fraud me and say that they are me, trying to give you a personal reading, you need to report them to YouTube. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. I hope this helped for real, for real, for real. Like I said, if you'd like to donate, it's PayPal only. Um, PayPal only. I like to keep it simple, stupid for me. So just saying, it's only PayPal. Um, and then I'm going to start doing lives Monday and Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. If any, uh, many uh, side readings, if anybody is interested in that, you, um, you can super chat on that if you would like to do that as well. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.